Hey everyone, Aaron here with another quick tip. Today I wanted to put the focus back on simulation because the January update added two important study types, thermal and thermal stress. One area where understanding thermal characteristics is important is in plastic injection mold design, where, if you can optimize cooling and reduce cycle time by just a fraction of a second, the long-term gains can be astonishing. One way mold designers can optimize cooling is by using beryllium copper inserts due to the conductivity gains over traditional mold tooling materials. Problems like these, and oftentimes when using simulation, there's a great deal of value in being able to reuse a setup. As you saw, the existing simulation had all kinds of boundary conditions in terms of contacts, thermal loads, mesh settings, all things I want to reuse for this copper example. So let's just clone this setup, then change the material for the insert. And that's it. We're ready to run this and start comparing results. This will help me determine if the change is worth the trouble or cost. However, another consideration when using dissimilar materials or problems with large temperature gradients is the possibility of thermal stress. So how do I reuse the thermal setup from this study in a thermal stress study? To do this is simple. Just access the study settings, then use the dropdown to change the type of study. When you do so, you'll be warned in the event your boundary conditions are not applicable. In this example, it's telling me the thermal contacts will be converted to structural contacts. With the head start we got by cloning the thermal setup, our thermal stress study is simple to set up and run. You can start to post-process the results with parameters like stress, displacement, and your thermal results are available too. In this case, contact pressure might be of interest. Post-processing a clone study has the added advantage of including slicing planes from the original. This makes comparing critical areas simple. And, any point probes are available throughout all studies, cloned or not. Anyway, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. See ya.